Welcome to my spring home tour for 2021. I am aware that not everyone wants to know where I purchase every item. So if that is you, I will leave a timestamp down below in the description box where the house tour begins with music only. Hope you guys enjoy. So as you enter the front door, this is what you see. Right here to the right is the living room. I always get asked about these shelves. This has nothing to do with spring, but I got them from Walmart and they're the Better Home and Gardens brand. So right here on the shelf, I just have a little egg that I got from the Target dollar spot. And this bunny, I believe I got from Marshall's a couple years ago. I believe that's where it came from. If not, it came from Hobby Lobby. So moving along that Picture came from Hobby Lobby, I believe, yeah, last year or the year before. The wheelbarrow came from the Target dollar spot, and the carrots I got from Hobby Lobby last year or the year before. And then moving over here to this set of shelves, I just have the same bunny like I do on the other side. And then I have a bird cage that I got from Hobby Lobby filled with little bird eggs. Right over here by the couch, I have this grapevine bunny that I got from Pier 1 a couple of years ago. I have pillows like this on either side of the couch and they came from Piper Classics. This pillowcase here came from Amazon as well as this throw blanket and I absolutely love it. I will link both of these down below. Up here on the shelf, I just have two bunnies that I got from Hobby Lobby several years ago. If it wasn't Hobby Lobby, it was Kirkland's. It's been quite a few years sitting next to two Ray Dunn birdhouses. And then down here in this basket that I love so much, I got the basket from Home Goods, the throw pillow that says Hippity Hop came from Kirkland's, and the greenery came from Hobby Lobby. So on the back of the door, I just have a wreath that I got from Kirkland's last year. And then sitting right here on this pedestal, I just have some greenery with some bunny ears that I got from Hobby Lobby. As you turn around, this is the formal dining area. This room right here is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I just, I don't know why I feel like it has like a lot of character. So right here, I just have some bunnies that I also got from Hobby Lobby. As you can tell, you guys, I absolutely love bunnies. Been having these for a couple years as well. The little tin came from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago as well. This little arrangement came from Kirkland several years ago, but I believe they still have it. So if you've been following me, then you know that I like to keep my table arrangements pretty simple. So right here, I just have this runner that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. I believe I got it for like $3. They still have it this year, but it's $25, I believe, with 40% off at this time. I got this wooden base and glass dome from Amazon, and I just put some faux eggs and moss inside. The chargers I got from Hobby Lobby two years ago on clearance. The plate came from Target. It's part of the Hearth and Hand collection. And now I also have the salad plate and then the napkins I got from Home Goods this year. And then I just added a little bird's nest that I got from Amazon in a pack of three. So I just kept it super simple, but I love how it turned out. And then over here on this accent table, that grocery crate was in my haul. If you guys watch my other channel, I got that from Michael's and I think it is so cute. The baskets down below came from the at home store and I just have some bunny pillows inside. The little grocery crate is full of all faux food that I got from Hobby Lobby with the exception of those carrots. The carrots were attached to a banner that I had and I just removed it and put some greenery down inside. And then the rosemary, uh, plants came from Target. They are the hearth and hand plants. I just think this is super fun. You can change it up for every season and holiday. Mm -hmm. 
so I got these little bunnies last year on sale for like a dollar or less and then I wanted to add a bow to them and I just didn't know what bow and I seen some ribbon I had in my drawer from a, a set a Ray Dunn set that I got last year for Christmas so uh, my mother-in-law actually put those on there for me um, and I thought that was just a super cute touch I did not change anything here on my shelves. All I did was add that bunny cord cutting board that I got from Target Dollar Spot several years ago. I just have another bunny here, just like I do on the other side. And then here on my hooks, I just have some Ray Dunn mugs. And these tins here came from Michaels this year and they are so cute. So coming out of the formal dining area, so we come to this little accent table that I got from Hobby Lobby several years ago. That bunny came from Piper Classics two years ago. That little farm fresh crate came from Michael's this year and I just have some moss and little eggs. This kitchen towel also came from Piper Classics two years ago I believe or maybe it was last year. And then I just have some tulips right here in the vase that I got from Amazon. On top of the shelf up here, I just have some faux books I've had for several years. I got it from Hobby Lobby with a little tiny bunny, which is actually the, one of the salt and pepper shakers that came from the Target Dollar Spot sitting right next to a Ray Dunn birdhouse. So now we come into the kitchen. Right here, I just have a Ray Dunn vase that is full of faux tulips that I got from Amazon. And then the salt and pepper shaker is also Ray Dunn and it came from Marshall's. And then right here on the other side, I just have this cute little wooden bunny holder that I got from Home Goods a few years ago. And I just have some napkins and some hearth and hen silverware. Right here on my island, the actual tear tray came from Overstock. I always get questions about that. And there are too many items on here to name. So if you see something you have a question about, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer. But I always get all kind of questions on how, where do I find little pieces to put on my tear tray? And to be honest, I just get most of my stuff from the either the Target Dollar Spot or Hobby Lobby. Moving on to the counters over here, all of the canisters and mugs are Ray Dunn. And this shelf came from Hobby Lobby. This is another item that I get tons of questions about and they still carry it, but don't buy it unless it's half off in the store because otherwise, to me, it's too expensive. And then like I said, the canisters are Ray Dunn. I just added some more faux eggs that I got from Hobby Lobby. And the fabric carrots came from the Target Dollar Spot several years ago. So over here on the stove, that uh, butterfly cutting board I got recently from Hobby Lobby as part of the Dolly Parton line. And the cutting board behind it is a Ray Dunn cut cutting board. And these kitchen towels came from Home Goods. So I really wanted to incorporate sage green into my home this year for spring because I absolutely love that color. The little ceramic rain boots came from Walmart and then that little shelf came from the Target Dollar Spot this year. The moss balls came from either the, either it came from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby and then right here the floral came from Dollar Tree and the fabric carrots came from the Target Dollar Spot last year. This mini ladder I got from Hobby Lobby, I think two years ago. The kitchen towel came from the Target Dollar Spot. And then that is another hearth and hand plant. So this wooden bunny I got from Hobby, no, I got from Home Goods a couple years ago. And the greenery I got from Amazon. The plaid sage uh, kitchen towel I got from Hobby Lobby this year as well. And you guys, I just got this Ray Dunn kitchen mat a couple of days ago. I got it from Amazon and I absolutely love it. This is, has nothing to do with spring. It just flows with my kitchen and it also has one of my favorite type of flowers, which is a sunflower. Mm -hmm. 
so this pail came from the Target Dollar Spot this year, and then I just added this Cottontail Farms decal on it that came from Etsy. This little wooden bunny came from the Target Dollar Spot this year as well. And then right here on my kitchen rack that I got from Amazon, I just have some um, bunnies that I got from Etsy, a hanging basket that came from uh, Hobby Lobby with some greenery that also came from Hobby Lobby. I have this all around my house. The kitchen towel came from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. So as you turn around from the kitchen, this is the family room. So on the top, I just have some um, carrots that I got, I believe from Hobby Lobby. That truck came from Decor Steels. The Happy Spring canister is a Ray Dunn canister that I got from Marshalls. And the Fresh Cut Flower sign came from Amazon. And I just have some carrots that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And then the wreath is actually two wreaths put together. It's a eucalyptus wreath and then one of those grapevine wreaths that I just set inside of it. And the watering can is Ray Dunn. The pillowcase, farmer's market pillowcase came from Amazon and I just put a whole bunch of florals in here that I got from a few different places. Right here on the couch, I have that same pillow like I have in my living room that I got from Kirkland's that says hippity hoppity. And I have a sage green throw that I got from Amazon. So this wooden bunny also came, it's just like the one in the kitchen, it came from Home Goods, and then this piece here came from Michaels several years ago. So here on the mantle, all I did was add this Ray Dunn plant pot, plant pot set. I think it's super cute, I couldn't wait to use it. I believe I got it from either Home Goods or Marshalls. And then over here on my bench, I just have this distress pill. I will link it down below because I can't remember the company name, but it just says blessed and then gives the definition. I have a basket that I got from Hobby Lobby with some tulips that I got from Amazon. And then coming off of the family room, we're gonna go into this hallway. This area basically looks the same year round. I just added that hanging basket that I got from Target and it's part of the McGee Studio line. I absolutely love how it looks over here. It looks just, it, to me this area just looks like spring. Like it just looks really light and fresh. That farmhouse sign I've had for several years and I got it from Hobby Lobby. Then going into the hallway, we're gonna come up to the half bath. And I don't really do much in here because it is such a small space right there on the wall. I just have that Hello Spring Ray Dunn sign. And I got this little topiary plant from the Target Dollar Spot this year as well as the pedestal. And then right here on the shelves I just added that basket and put some greenery inside. That basket came from the Target Dollar Spot this year. Just kept it nice and simple. As you come out of the bathroom, we're going to enter into the laundry room. I just recently changed all of my uh, jars and bottles out and you guys, I absolutely love how this looks. I will link that video down below. It was a cleaning video, I think two cleaning videos ago, I'm not exactly sure. Nevertheless, I will link that down below. And then all I did in here was just add another one of these tear trays that I got from Target Dollar Spot this year. I added some lavender and then just some dryer balls and clothes pins. Just kept it nice and simple. I added some lavender over here in this hanging basket as well.
is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload future videos. And until next time, everybody, bye.